This is Ken Sanders. There was one lonely copy way up there. And this has been his home away from home for 23 years. This is our rare book room. These books make up a reader's dream, home to 4,000 square feet full of literature. You know, people comment every single day, oh, I love the smell of this place. What you're smelling is decaying books. But yeah, people love books. They love to touch them and hold them and smell them and read them. A smell and a store that will soon be a memory to make way for new construction. I likely will be forced to put the, the better books in a warehouse and sell them online. 46, would you like back? Sander says it's an economic reality. He can't afford to stay. It's not sustainable. I can't, I can't do it. I don't have any resources um, except books. I've never found a landlord yet that would take books for the rent. Sander says it's books like these that influence him to open up the shop in the first place. And while he's sad to see his second home go, the city is optimistic. It's out of a good thing. It's people want to live here. People want to, you know, uh, be downtown. And that creates a lot of demand for the space that is downtown. Colander is seeing this trend throughout the city, not just with Ken's shop. It's a cultural icon. It's a meeting place. I don't have the answers. I wished I did. They're in one of these books somewhere. If I could just find the right one. In 12 to 24 months, these doors will close for good in Salt Lake City. All right, thank Adios. you. Katia Collins, Fox 13 News, Utah.